but you see I'm at a distance and from a distance you see more things than what you are now directly involved you are in it you are under pressure under attack you are barbarians They're, you remind them of Hitler Hitler burned books so you might also create a Nazi party here and you know overtake the country all these fears they well up and now you are, have to battle with this now I am qualified to speak on this for a number of reasons number one you see I am an elder brother of yours to some of you I am an uncle some of you can call me grandpa I am an old man number one number two I have read the book nobody can say well look did you read the book and say no but you know this is what people say from here say so no I read the book number two number th three I am one of you you see to everybody I am a South African but if I tell you that I carry a document with me a British passport British passport 63 year old passport you believe it there would hardly hardly be a single senior citizen in Britain who would be having a British passport 63 year old if you open it you see my picture when I was nine year old what I look like then and I cherish it what well, by God I cherish it because of the picture more than anything else but now I value it I'm a Britisher by by birth and by holding a British passport I would I, I would be looking forward to the pleasure of creating a senior citizens British passport holders of 60 years and more if your father or anybody your grandfather has got a passport 60 years and over let me know you would like to create a society in Britain <laughs> so I am qualified now what in retrospect now because it's far away from all those happenings and I can talk more freely I said look what I would have done I, I couldn't have if I was in the midst of you I couldn't have thought all these things out it's impossible see when you are under pressure under turmoil and the mass hysteria that can be generated by things like this you can't think so I'm not too clever what I'm gonna tell you now say this guy's too clever I'm not wallah I tell you I'm not clever I am not benefiting from other people's experiences I have been watching your TV debates on these topics people send me the videotapes I watch them from Britain from America and I'm getting educated by those debates I said what's wrong why don't these people tell the fellow you know to the they weren't questioned what is it that's creating such 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 temper such anger in you what makes you so angry so the guy says you know he spoke slanderous things and he stored filthy language one of these programs I'm watching the nearest a brother came to answering he's prodded what did he say and I watch his face see the camera was on his face and I can see that he's in hell and he doesn't know how to get out of that situation so he takes a deep he said he, what 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 is it so he said he used word like benchud <laughs> 50 million people the Americans are listening what did it mean to them nothing and you get enraged you want to go and kill the man for that what did he say I said our cases have been going by default if you read the book here if you took the right approach the approach even now is not too late I will show you ways and means very cheaply you can get things done very cheaply not with the gun not with the bomb not with the stone very cheaply by God I show you how it can be done I said you should have contacted one of these Tory MPs Tory, well, Tory you know this conservative party, Margaret Thatcher's conservative party Tory, how you pronounce it? Tory one of these Tory MPs and showed him he says look, have a look at this sir
our iron lady, our prime minister, this fellow Rushdi, see in the page, open the page, page 269, he calls our Maggie torture. Torture, not thatcher, torture. One sentence, one word sentence, torture, full stop. Then he calls her Maggie the bitch. <laughs> you know that? He is calling our Prime Minister Maggie the bitch and he got away with it. Then on page 80 of his book, he says the British. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to say <laughs> Page 80, he says the sister, F-U-C-K-I-N-G, British. You see, he's thinking in Gujarati or Hindi. He's not born in Bombay. He wants to use the word that word that our 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 representative used on the TV. Ben Chur. <laughs> no, he's thinking in that language and he translates it, but not at that stage. When he uses that word, no translation. Sister fucking British. This is what he's telling them. You fuck your own sisters. British, whether you are Pakistani British or English British or Sikh British or Jamaican British, you fuck your own sisters. You take that? You take that? I said, tell this to the MP. Look at this, sir. And this guy on page 169, I'll come to it later in detail, he has sex with the Queen. He even prohibits with the Queen. I will come to that. I tell you, immediately the book will have been banned. Immediately. No, no arguments. But you are crying about yourself. You know, he saw my mother, he saw my fathers, our spiritual fathers, our sahabas, he did this, he did that. It's a good luck to you. You are a people, you know, you have been a challenge to us for over a thousand years. You conquered once Christian lands, never to be retaken. The whole of North Africa was Christian. Whole of North Africa, Egypt, Morocco, Algeria, Libya, the whole lot was Christian. The whole of the Middle East, Syria, Palestine, what you call Lebanon, all this was Christian. You came and ruled Spain for 800 years. You knocked at the gates of Vienna. You have it a challenge. Hmm? And even now, when you are down and out in the gutter, even now you tell the guy, he says, look, sir, don't drink. Drinking is bad. Gambling is bad. No dating, no dancing, no courting. Don't eat the pig. Don't you? Walata kunu salasa. Don't say Trinity. Look, you are a thorn in his side. Now for a change, your own child, one of your own, has put a pineapple up your backside. See how it feels now? He's getting sadistic pleasures. He's getting pleasures in our pain. You cry, you wail, you burn books, you march, he's happy. He's getting a subtle revenge on you, through your own. The way was to turn the tables. Bas, I don't know how, how you address them, I don't know how you address them here. I would say, Bas, Ba Pakka Saheb, look what this guy is saying about you. Not about me, my mother, about you, your mother. Your sister, your wife, your daughter. You show him and you see how he reacts. Some fellows tell me that the British are insensitive. They are insensitive. They have grown a thick skin. You can tell them what you like. You can swear them as you like. They don't react. I said, don't take a chance. You're making a mistake. 